We're doing non-visual tours of the galleries today. It takes about 10 minutes and it involves you closing your eyes and coming with me while I just take you upstairs and describe some of the artworks to you. And there's hardly any people in here. There's about, there's two people sat on the bench. They're both texting on their phones. <laughs> and the guard is leaning up against the wall to our left. The backdrop is kind of this really rich, uh, kind of a dark, deep turquoise colour. Um, and on it, it has kind of these, looks like kind of fabrics and stuff. It looks like a, you know, a very decorative wallpaper, but all in this kind of deep turquoise colours. And then when the next thing that you kind of look at is this, the top of this uh, person's head, it's a woman. And we're now out on the lobby floor again. So you can open your eyes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's you know, I like I like words a lot, so it was like it was Thank cool you. hearing like her describing. I mean, we were excited in it, but I guess going through uh, different kind of random images, then I have to stack them into my head afterwards and try to think about what the main thing looked like. With each tour guide. I guess the experience for the visitor changes, but um, across museums it's pretty similar. And I think it's because it's this entry point to um, the work itself and to the space too. So it really is, it, it's, an, it, it's an unorthodox kind of request and uh, an odd experience or um, and maybe a practice that takes uh, getting used to, but it really is a way of connecting the visitor to the work and to the space and I think that happens across the board.